The airway course was developed in the first place uh, so that uh, we could give the airway the attention that it deserved. Um, within the, uh, the BLS course and the ALS course, it gets uh, buried under all of the other things that, all of the other information that, uh, that people need to absorb. And um, uh, people didn't have time to concentrate on the various uh, components. So here we've got a module that people can take and concentrate on and spend time just on that. And that way you don't have to take a whole day uh, to, to do it. You can do it in a, in a much shorter time and you can do it more frequently as a result. Well, I think that the goal of this was to look at the scientific evidence as to what are, what are the most important issues during uh, cardiac arrest and uh, during providing uh, uh, CPR that's going to truly improve survival. And one of the things we recognize is that every second of time that is spent not pushing on the chest, not doing good CPR, can make a difference to the patient. And so if people are taking too much time figuring out the airway, what it is, how it works, and, and so on, that could impact outcome. And so our hope with this module is that people will know about these devices and will use them in a time-efficient manner. There are five modules to the airway program. There's the, the basic bag mask, and that's because uh, it's used by all healthcare providers. The LMA and the combi tube are both uh, airways that have been well studied in resuscitation. They've both been found to, uh, to be an improvement over the bag valve mask uh, and over the endotracheal tube. Um, and uh, so in situations where people can use these, um, they should be using them. And um, we chose both the LMA and the combi tube because one device or the other uh, is uh, sometimes preferred in different systems and is sometimes better in different environments. And then there's the uh, endotracheal tube, which is the traditional advanced airway. However, it's much more difficult to insert, it involves more experience, and it also has some uh, complications that the other devices don't have, and, uh, and so really takes uh, a, a different level of provider. The ITD is not actually a, a respiratory device or a ventilatory device, it's actually a circulatory device. But because it's used together with the airway and in line with the airway, um, we thought it made sense to include it uh, in, in this module. One of the really beautiful aspects of the airway course is that it's taken the knowledge of many, many experts in ventilation from across North America and it's distilled it into a very practical course that any healthcare profession professional can use to learn the various aspects of managing a patient who needs ventilation. I think that there are very few courses that actually focus on, on airway management during CPR, during cardiac arrest, with the intent of familiarizing providers with the important devices uh, so that they can be most efficient in providing high quality CPR. And I want to really emphasize that our goal was not to reproduce high-end airway courses that are a day, full, you know, two days. Um, you will not come out of this being ready to, you know, intubate patients necessarily, but you will come out of this with at least more of a working knowledge so that if you take care of a cardiac arrest patient, um, you'll know more about why these airway devices are being used and hopefully use, you know, be part of an, a more efficient working team to provide high quality CPR.